What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Dak Blake here. Today, we're taking a test for babies. Yes, that is right. We are back in the game of Brain Out, and I am excited because this is a mobile game that kind of just goes beyond what you can imagine. This right here that we're looking at is number 28. We did a video on this uh, last week, I think, and it's literally like the simplest test, but they <gasps> trick you. They trick you so much. It would be like if literally I asked a question, I was like, hey, what am I wearing right now? And you're like, glasses, and I'm like, wrong, a shirt! I'm wearing a shirt! Ha ha! You suck! <laughs> so that's literally what this whole thing is, is it's just trying to trick you. And I was inspired by my one of my best YouTube buddies, uh, the Frustrated Gamer, Brandon. Um, he's been making videos on this, and so we, we have to congratulate him, because he's also had a million as well. He just hit that, like... I guess like a couple of days ago, so go and send some uh, YouTube love out to him But we have to do some like friendly sort of competition. We got to see if we can beat him. We got to get nothing wrong All right, so find eight animals now I, I don't know if the game is trying to trick me There's a lady standing here, and I don't know if I click her. Oh, it actually counts. She she's an animal don't trust her Don't come near her. All right. I'm seeing things here. Yeah, this is a literal test for babies Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, find all eight. Where? What? Is the tree an animal? Nope. Oh, wait. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. What is. Oh, hey. <laughs> How am I supposed to know this? How am I supposed to know that there's a worm here? Okay, well, you know what? I don't think I got anything wrong. There we go. All right. Okay. It's the next one. Move two matchsticks to create an upright chair. Two matchsticks oh man okay so can we this this is not a test for babies this is this is very serious for one don't hand matches to babies <laughs> two this is very complicated now what okay so i think i can see one is here right you just move it here like so it's standing there i think how do i do there you go wait wait, no, wait, wait. i can i move can i move them first because see if i move it there and then i move it up there right oh see yeah i, I had the idea already there you go. I'm gonna count that as right because that's what I was literally trying to do. I didn't know it mattered which position they were in. I'm taking that. That's my own. I won. Haha. <laughs> All right. So we're moving forward. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna skip over some of the easier questions and uh, I'm gonna kind of elaborate on some of the harder ones because uh, we're taking a test to see if we can maximize ourselves. And it says how many ants. I know this is a trick because I probably have to lift up something over here, right? What do I gotta do? What do I gotta? There's. There's. This is not, this is not a, a simple question. I know it. So we got, I guess seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But then one of them is not gonna be an ant, right? All right, let's see. Let's see what happens. I type seven, obviously wrong. Okay, but you know, we're trying to figure out the tricks. What are the tricks here? Do I have to click a certain amount of ants? Do I like, Tap one until it flies. There's gonna be something like what is this over here? What is that? Wait, can't you technically get this question right by just like Guessing can't you just guess at some point? No. Oh up. Oh, there we go. I figured it out You have to zoom in on the ale over here Okay, well you you technically could win by guessing but I guess I guess we kind of figured it out here All right, so there is 17 I think Hopefully. Boom! Boom! I am doing great! Thank you! Thank you very much! Alright, so we have to put ourselves in the mind of a baby because only babies can get these right, right? There is, it's a baby test! So you gotta think like a baby. So for the rest of the video, I'm going to sit like this. Sup, my dudes? <laughs> it's just like the whole video just becomes like, where's Dak Blake? Why is he so far down in his chair? All right. Gaga. Help the boy win. All right. We'll help the boy win by handing him a cat. Nope. <laughs> just imagine. I'm like, here you go. Here's a rock. <laughs> Throw the rock at the lady. <laughs> What if that's how the video went? It's like <laughs> you can have like alternate answers. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Help the boy win. We'll just stack up the bunny and we'll stack up a cat on his head, or we'll throw the rock at the cat, or we'll hide. <laughs> no. Okay, how do we do this? Oh, it probably involves making this rock bigger, huh? Oh, wait, I just did it. I figured it out. You just slide her on. That's it? Okay, wow. You know what? For as simple as this game is, it feels really good to solve the puzzles. And I know it's weird because it's 
It's literally like I said, like a test for babies. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I figured that one out all by myself. <laughs> all right, gotta take this super seriously. This is a super secret IQ test given by the government. This is drive the car to the road sign, but we have a big block of ice, it looks like. So if I click this, it'll crash into the ice, right? Boom. All right, so that's a no. Uh, we can't just like move it. We can't make it smaller. I don't think. Okay, but oh Dry I can move the question What what why can I move the question? Have I normally been able to do this? Can I just change it to just say drive the car sign? <laughs> I just that's that's the new question now. What, what do we do? We drive the car sign. There we go. That's the answer. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's because we're supposed to find the sun. We melt it. He could drive the car. Easy peasy. I was actually kind of thinking that and I was like, I don't see a sun. Okay. Okay. So there's a funny one now. This one is called how to eat carrots. <laughs> What does that even mean? How to eat carrots. We have a, a heart bar, we have a clock, and we have this bunny that we can just make fall off a cliff. Oh, wait, I only have a certain amount of lives. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do here, but it seems like we can't double jump. Can we? Nope. And we can't. Nope. Oh. Oh, wait, I was trying to leave. <laughs> so now we're a bunny. We've now entered into a game where we've changed our character. We're not a person taking a test. We're a bunny. Looking for some carrots. Wait, can I just drag the carrot over there? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> it says, thank you so much. It sounds sarcastic. Are you being sarcastic, game? We got math now. What is this? What what three numbers add up to 12? Okay. Can I take some of these numbers? Can I uh, move some stuff? Three numbers that add up to 12 would be like four. Four, eight, 12. But we don't have that. We have random numbers. It says up to 12? Can I, can I just like add stuff? No. Nope. And oh, okay. Wait. Oh, it changes. Cause see, every time you do something, it adds up to way more than twelve. You know. So like, how do we do this? All right, we gotta think about this in a big brain scenario. Where you gotta add up the numbers. You gotta do the science. You gotta think about your education and using it. Opening books like this and just going like, mmm, yes, knowledge. <laughs> Man, I really like the difficulty of this. But I don't know what to do on this one. This one actually is very impossible. I'm trying to find out some like secrets or maybe I go to like a different menu or something like that. Like, is there something that I'm supposed to be doing? All right, I don't know. Can I click it? I can click it more than once. Wait a minute. Can I do this again though? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so I can click things more than once. Whoa, there we go. I just clicked it. There, that was it. It just solved the hard math problem. I didn't know I could do that. Okay, man, it literally is thinking outside of a box. And speaking about that, put everything into the box. Okay, there we go. Putting everything into the box. Is that it? What? Put everything? Oh. All right, thank you. Whack up. Mo. Whack up. Mo. I'm doing this for way too long. Oh wait, I could just get him out. I could just drag him out of here. Wait a minute, what do I do with him? There we go, I just dragged him. It says, have you played in Whack-A-Mole before? The game is now making fun of me. It's going out and trying to make fun of me specifically. All right, so I, I clicked some buttons and I got to like a secret level thingy. I don't know if it's like its own little side game, uh, but it said, would you like to see if you can do it? An escape? And I guess we have a little bit of an escape room. So we have an escape room break. So it says, which key can open the door? And I'm gonna just start clicking things because I know it's not one of these three, right? You can't just be like, yo, it's this one. No, it's this one. No, it's this one, see? So you gotta maybe grab something, move it around, twist something. Let's find the escape. Now, maybe if I can, uh, oh, 
Oh, all right. I guess you can combine the keys into a big key. Yo, I have been sitting here for a little bit and wow. Jeez, these get so cool. Like, isn't this game like just kind of like a little bit of a way to relax? You're using your brain. It's kind of like a little exercise. Like I said in the other video, it's like there's little feet in my brain and they're running right now. And I'm, I'm using it. I'm using my brain to the max, even though this is a test for babies. All right, so we've made it to question 40. And this one is another math question. So welcome back to Math Blake as I try to solve some math. Now we have one plus two, which is three, plus three is six, plus one is seven. And then it just does it again. So there's another row of seven. And then we have the other row of seven. So what is it asking me? Is it asking me if all of these together? So it's seven, four, 21? Is that what it wants? What is it asking me? Or is it just asking me for the seven? Is it just seven? Nope. Huh. Wait a minute, what, what does it want from me? Can I solve this question? Now, if this was in a test given to me in school, and the answer was not like either seven for this one line or, or 21, I don't know what it would be. Like, I seriously don't know. Two hours later. I don't know, and this may be wrong, but it does look like if this was continuous, maybe that's an 11 because I feel like this game is tricky. So one plus two plus three, three, four, five, six plus 11 is 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and then plus 22, so that's 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. If it's not that, then I don't know. And, yo, that is, <laughs> that is so difficult. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 that is crazy. But you know what? We have taken a test here and we have failed. Honestly, a lot, a lot of failing, but it feels like I'm getting slightly better every single time. You know what? I kind of in the future want to see if we could do like a 1v1, me and uh, Brandon, the frustrated gamer. What if we just like have like a challenge to see who can get the least amount like wrong and we'll do it kind of like together. That seems fun. I wonder if you would want to do that because it does seem like a weird way to collaborate on this type of game, right? Nevertheless, I hope I made you laugh here today. I hope my energy has been transferred to you and I hope you continue to stay with me as we do some more games. Uh, we can keep playing, keep the videos rolling there's probably one coming up right now thank you guys we just hit a million i thank god every day that i'm able to do this it's such a blessing to just be able to play stuff like this you know just having fun so hopefully you join me on that next video probably coming up right now thank you guys for watching and as always peace out my dudes